Hi friends, Father Scott again. They say everyone has a price. We find out in our gospel reading for today that Judas's price is 30 pieces of silver. For 30 pieces of silver, Jesus or Judas hands over Jesus to those who are trying to silence him. As we are in this season of examination, of self-examination. It's a good question for us to ask, if I have a price, for what might I be willing to hand over Jesus? What would cause me to betray him? And maybe if I'm really being honest, what has already caused me to betray him? Is it the desire for approval in society? Is it the desire to look sophisticated, to fit in? Is it my own economic or social advancement that would make me to turn my back on him or deny him or Maybe at least pretend I didn't know him, pretend that he didn't know me. What would make me hand over Jesus? That, uh, that phrase, to hand him over, is interesting. It comes from the, a Latin root, tridere. That means to hand over. It is from that word that our word traitor comes. Judas, the traitor, the one that handed Jesus over. But that word tradere is also the root of another word that's very important to us as Catholic Christians in particular, but all Christians. Tradere is also the root of the word tradition, which also means to hand on. You know, in the early life of the church, when it faced persecutions, there were those who were forced to hand over the sacred books, to hand over the faith to the authorities and to hand over sacrifice to uh, pagan gods. They handed over Jesus instead of as Christians are called to do, and especially people in my position, priests and leaders in the church, instead of handing Jesus on tradition. Brothers and sisters in Christ, will we, as Christians, hand Jesus over, deny him, forget him, sell him out, or will we hand him on? By the way that we live our lives, will we give witness to the tradition that's come down to us, the tradition that's been handed on to us of God's love for the world in Jesus Christ, of the great teachings and the great commandments, the great mission that's been given to us? Will we hand that on? Will we continue to live it out? Or will we hand it over, betray it, forget it, turn our backs on it? That's the question for all of us. We need to ask ourselves, is there something, is there something for which I would hand Jesus over? What will you give me if I hand him over to you is the question to Judas. And it's asked us by society every day. May God give us the courage not to hand over Jesus, to recognize that in him we have the treasure that's beyond any price. May God give us the courage to continue like our ancestors in the faith, to hand Jesus on, to make him known to this generation so that he can continue to be handed on in every generation until he comes again. 
God bless you. And I'll be talking to you again soon.